Hello everybody, it's Russ and we're here in Las Cruces at Holiday World. We decided to stop in and see Brent who sold us our little guy Max. Along these roads we roam, we find adventure through traveling, camping, boondocking, and exploring. How you guys doing? Uh, Brent Smith here at Holiday World in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Um, today we're going to be looking at the uh, Passport uh, 2210 uh, RB. It's uh, the new GT series, brand new in 2019. Uh, a couple of nice things with the uh, the passport. Get uh, two 20 pound LP tanks on it. They also got the uh, electric uh, front jack on them. Uh, one of the new things that they did with the passports this year is they got the molded fiberglass front cap. So uh, you know it's going to have automotive grade paint on it, and uh, it's actually going to give you a great cap that you don't have to worry about the, some of the delamination that you've seen in past years. Going around the side here, one of the things that they changed on the passport this year that I really like is your large pass through door. They've really uh, upgraded the size of this pass through door, added the magnetic catches to them. You got a huge pass through with it. So, and uh, even one of the things, I don't know if you can see it on the video here, if you can get a good close up. One of the things that I love that Keystone does, double welds on every single weld as far as the framing on, on these coaches. What that does, that adds a lot of strength and rigidity to the frame. It keep, when you're going down the road, your body's not going to be doing this kind of stuff. That double weld keeps that frame from being able to move around on you. Really keeps the coach square. 15 foot uh, awning gives you a lot of awning space out here. Um, you got a great uh, storage space in here on the 21, uh, 2210. Um, actually, it's accessible inside and outside. Great place to, you know, a trash can if you're out here uh, uh, doing some cooking or uh, uh, picnicking out here. Um, also, if you want to keep something else in here, maybe some more of your outside uh, utilities to make it easy, accessible inside and out. They also added the, uh, the uh, more ride step above steps to them this year. Uh, normally, you, see, you only see these on higher end coaches. Um, Passport being an entry level coach with the, uh, the first uh, level as far as the fiberglass exterior, um, but that's a great upgrade for them. One of the other things I really like that Keystone does with the grab handles, they're reinforced on the backside. Everybody's probably seen the grab handles that are on different coaches where they're falling off or they've been reattached different locations with that reinforcement. It's not coming off, it's not going anywhere. Come around the backside here, you got the, uh, the, the grill connect, uh, attachment here. It actually comes with an Aussie grill, it's uh, stored inside right now. But the uh, grill attachment, you have your LP quick connect underneath here. We can set your grill and everything all up out here and be good to go. Um, me personally, I love grilling versus uh, cooking on a stove, so I'd much rather have the grill than uh, a two burner stove that you get on a lot of the outside kitchen. Spare tire, bumper mount rear spare tire. Again, with the bumper, you can also add uh, your sewer hose inside if you, if you choose to store your sewer hose there. Outdoor shower, uh, your, your black paint flush. Um, all your connections and your pole handles right down here, easy to get to. <clears throat> Don't have to crawl away underneath the coach to get to them. Not underneath the slide, they're actually in a really good location, easy to, easy to access. With the Keystone products, you're gonna get your, your four cable slide system. That's really important. Uh, some coaches that uh, they'll do a two cable system, one on, you know, like on top or on bottom, that allows the slide to actually tip one way or the other. Keeping the four table, it's always going in straight. Um, they also use a single motor on the inside, the importance of that. If you have two motors and those motors aren't in sync, you can actually start doing the slide one way or the other this way. So having a single motor, four cable system, it's a great system for the slide. Actually uh, the least warranty claims system in the industry. Your 30 amp uh, power connection. And yet your city water connection and your fresh water holding tank fill. Uh, Passport has what's called a spread axle design. So you can see the tires are actually spread apart a little bit further. What that does, it creates stability. Uh, there's less chance for, for the trailer to sway because the tires are spread a little bit further apart. It also equalizes the load a little bit, makes it a little bit better balanced. These are a lightweight coach, under 5,000 pounds. So great for towing with the uh, larger SUVs or, or small half ton pickups, stuff like that. But that also really adds a lot of stability because you're towing with a lighter vehicle. So now we're on the inside of the, of the Passport 2210 RB. Um, great counter space for such a small coach. Um, it gives you a lot of counter space. You got your single basin farmhouse stainless steel sink residential style stainless steel attachments. Get your flush mount stove with the glass cooktop. Uh, I really like this type of stove because I do a lot of cooking outside and having a glass top with flush mount like this, I can use that as additional counter space. You can have a large eight cubic foot uh, refrigerator. Uh, a lot of coaches this size are gonna have a six cubic foot and then you got your separate freezer and stuff on top. One of the big things with this, with this coach, being as small as it is, great bathroom. Uh, you got the Neo Angle shower, which is uh, really good for not taking up a whole lot of space but giving you a lot of real real wide shoulder space and actually with this neo angle shower got the magnetic catches to keep the shower door shut but again i'm 5'10 about 220 pounds i fit in here i got a lot of space in here good headlight headlight uh head clearance stuff in here as well and if you have somebody that's a little bit taller you do have the skylight here as well to give it a little bit of head, head, headroom 
One of the things I really like about what they've done with the Passport this year, you have a lot of cabin space. Again, there's only a 22 foot coach. So all the overhead cabin space, all the lower cabin space, a lot of drawers and stuff with it. Um, good storage space underneath the sink. And as I mentioned, there's one outside. Um, you do have the, the extra little storage space that's accessible inside and outside. Um, one thing they've done with them this year, they've also gone to the, the thermal foil countertops. So what this is, uh, you've probably seen the Formica countertops that have the seams that go all the way around them. What that happens after them, at, to them after a while, they start to separate, water gets inside there, next thing you know, your counter's swelling. This is a complete one-piece thermal foil that goes all the way around, no place for water to, to be able to get inside. Large U-shaped dinette. So you can see it is about a seven-foot dinette, nice long dinette. Full-size adults can actually can easily sleep on there. Coming up to the front here, you have your TV. Uh, down the swivel, it's gonna be seen from the bedroom or from the dinette real easy. And the thing that's really nice, this is a little bar height countertop here. Um, there's actually two bar stools that go along with it. So you have your underbed storage. I mentioned the grill earlier when we're outside, the Aussie grill. And then say so your two bar stools that go over there in the bar. And in addition to that, I talked about the storage earlier. Again, more cabin space to be able to get in there underneath the, that counter. 13.5 BTU AC is standard on them. Down here in New Mexico, we tend, at our dealership, we tend to upgrade all of them to a 15,000 BTU just because we need it for cooling down here. Um, so, but this one here, if you're trying to look for a small coach that's uh, lightweight, easy to tow, again, under 5,000 pounds, only 22 feet, has a lot of space, a lot to offer in, in a small coach. With the bed, basically on, on all Keystone products, uh, even a coach this size, it's a residential queen. Okay, a lot of RVs have smaller coaches. They'll go to a, what's called an RV queen, which is actually six inches shorter. And uh, hear about hear about all the time people saying, "Well, yeah, my feet hang off the end of the bed." Uh, residential queen, which also not only is it long, so you can a full size adult can lay on it without their feet hanging off, but you can go down to Walmart or wherever you want to be able to get your sheets for it. You're not having to worry about tucking and pulling and doing all stuff like that. Just a residential size queen. One of the things when you start going into a line like the Passport, now you have a little bit more space, and you also have a little bit more frame. Uh, length underneath where you can put some larger tanks. So this one here, 43 gallon freshwater tank, 30 gallons on your uh, uh, gray and your black. If you're in the Las Cruces area, or even if you have to drive a little bit, uh, highly suggest Brent, he will do you right.